First Peoples Buffalo Jump is the largest buffalo jump in North America. We've got a number of tribes, about 13 different tribes came to use this site uh, during the days before the horse to hunt entire herds of buffalo going right over the edge of the cliffs behind me. We're expanding the kite festival into a uh, kite festival and craft fair, so we're going to have some native vendors, some local vendors uh, out here as well as Vintage Nana's food truck. So we're excited. they do Indian tacos, so we're very excited about that too. These are huge, huge kites. These are like four foot by six foot kites. They've been painted by native artists, all sorts of different themes. We've got a lot of buffalo kites and ones with kind of horses, lots of different themes. And they're going to be flying out here because what better place to come than to fly a kite? Uh, so we work with Skywind World uh, Incorporated, which is a nonprofit that um, works with native artists to kind of produce these kites. We uh, have kite kits that folks can purchase and can make your own kite. Um, the kids get a real thrill out of that as do some adults. And then you've also got a couple new craft activities. We're going to be doing some hoop and stick, um, which is a traditional native game. And then we're also going to be doing cattail dolls, um, in addition to just the different vendors we'll have on site who are looking forward to being able to share their, their wares and products and arts and crafts with the public. It's a really unique experience. Um, as long as the wind cooperates, we'll have just literally maybe, you know, dozens of kites up in the sky. It's a really cool image. You see this mix of these professional kites way high up in the sky and then a bunch of little kids running around pulling their, you know, own self-decorated kites that they've worked on all day. Uh, it's a really unique experience. It's a great way if you've never been to the Buffalo Jump, come out, try the different activities we've got going on, see what the Buffalo Jump's all about. The event itself is free. Um, just the kite kits, you do have to purchase those. Those will be available for sale. The artists, the prices will be set by them on their items. Um, it's from 10 to 4, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so folks can come out during that time and enjoy it. There's no fee for the event itself, but there is the park entrance fee if you have an out-of-state vehicle, and that's just $8. But that's good at any state park you go to that day.